Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to, well, yes, welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, even though we can't see it right now because uh, I'm unable to play right now. Um, but we do have some screenshots we're going to share, and we're going to talk about a couple things in this video. Uh, the recent Windows update has just decided to rain chaos on my uh, my computers and uh yeah it's been quite an interesting track trying to figure things out but i'm fixing it all and we'll get back to normal very soon but i did want to make this video uh talking about in this video we're going to talk about the both the weekly reset i know i know it's not saturday and i'd also want to talk about the event reset so what's coming soon because if you guys remember we've been hopping all over the place last season we had our or last version i guess our um we had our updates on Fridays for our event updates. So whenever we had something new in the event, the current event, it would happen on Friday. Equally, the event shop would also update on Fridays. But then things changed. Things oddly changed and we went from a Friday to a Sunday. So we went to Sunday being our event shop date uh, where we would update as well as get new stuff or new event updates. And now uh, we are on Saturday. So we've been hopping all over the place. And don't forget that April 4th, I believe April 3rd, actually. Uh, let's check really, really quick here before I forget. Um, April 3rd, April 3rd. So April 3rd, which is a Saturday again, we are going to be having our new update, our, um, our new version, our new season our new ventures which we're going to talk about that in a second uh but let's go ahead and sorry that's not that's some that's for something else <laughs> thanks to uh thanks shout out to uh to tf for that recipe there um but we're going to talk about that right now in this in this video we're going to talk about the weekly reset we're going to talk about what's coming soon uh as well as what is going to be happening not just this week but next week and uh i also have some a couple other things that uh, we're going to be talking about soon uh for example the um the jail bill changes i have a video coming out about that soon um where i want to kind of talk about you know the hyper how, why they hyper focused on a certain aspect of the game because we all know that there are big changes coming to fortnite um for sure in fortnite battle royale with the crazy season that's going on right now we know that there's going to be some very very strong changes this summer as fortnite gets poured over to the unreal engine 5 uh, some people believe that Save the World is not going to get that update, uh, and I kind of think that it will, uh, just because I don't think it's that going to be that difficult. They're not going to do that that crazy of a change. Uh, so I do believe it's going to get ported over, even though we may not see much of a change. We probably will see some major changes in Fortnite Battle Royale and probably creative coming this summer and the rest of the year. But that does leave us with the question of what's going to happen to to save the world um is save the world going to get anything what what is going on with save the world and are we going to see any progressive changes for save the world anything new because like i said we did see the jail build changes which is very odd why they would hyper focus on something that wasn't really doing much into the game when there are other things that are much more important to focus on uh plus also how they failed because jail builds have jail builds have now gone to the round of uh being extremely um uh glitchy <laughs> you know there are still ways that people have been able to find out to do jail builds lots of different ways so that didn't really fix anything it just created some more problems i feel so i'm going to be talking about that uh, i'm also going to be talking about you know what how i feel about the recent changes and save the world and what's coming i have a video coming up too where i'm going to be talking about whether or not i think you know personally for me and what i recommend in continuing to play save the world uh because there is so much coming it is summer there's some huge huge games coming up uh, for those of you who know what that means right there we've got something really awesome coming up in the channel and i am playing a lot of different games if you guys come to the streams you definitely know that so i do have a lot of stuff coming up that i want to talk about uh and especially with save the world too because i still feel there's a lot of content that i want to make for save the world especially for the new players there's so many new players to save the world and save the world doesn't have a good <laughs> it doesn't have a good tutorial you know uh there's a lot of things like that i still constantly get questions about how to do certain things to save the world so yeah so uh for me personally i feel like save the world still has a lot to offer and for people who are new to the game they come into a gigantic game full of so much fun and possibility so there's still a lot of potential there but let's go ahead and jump into this guys we're going to talk a huge thanks to jurassic george for giving me these screenshots because like i said i can't access the game right now 
I can't play the game right now, unfortunately. So uh, right now we have for this week's, it's going to be a hero supercharger if you want to get that one. And over in the shop, we have a copper swan. Uh, now, probably next week, I will be doing a must have video going through and talking about all the stuff in the event shop, because like I said, remember, April 3rd, April 3rd is when it's going to be changing uh, the copper swan. Not bad. I mean, it is only an epic, but you can take it up. It's not a bad weapon, um, but I would definitely recommend, you know, well, if you have the extra gold, eh, why not? Of course, you guys know what I recommend in the weekly shop of you need to buy and all that. So let's go ahead and jump into the coming soon, which is going to be uh, what's going to go right now. So right now, today, it is Friday, March 26th, I believe. Yes. Um, so right now we're in the middle of the cram session. We've got this coming up and tomorrow we've got the Highland Warrior Wildcat returning. Uh, which is pretty much all we're going to see. Uh, I believe that the double trouble is here until the very end. Yeah. Though, don't forget, we are still in board games and we are chugging up to the final week of this. So on the 27th, tomorrow is going to be the final week. We are moving into the very last week of Save the World. Uh, sorry, not Save the World. <laughs> well, 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 you never know. We're moving into the last week of this Ventures. Ventures season... Are we in season three or season four? I think we're in three, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, so don't forget, it's also the last week for you to pick up Machinist Mina if you want that set that uh, that pack. And we are also expecting to potentially see the new pack with Ray. Now, again, two, two. I'm not going to talk about that yet. I I do want to actually wait until it's actually announced uh, to really dive down and talk about it because I have. A lot of questions if they are going to give Ray a body, which we know they're giving her one in Battle Royale. And she does have um, she does have audio lines, uh, which if you guys know Inside Home Base, he actually compiled a full video. I'll have to leave a uh, link down below in the description. Uh, he actually compiled a full video of all the voice lines of Ray. And it does sound like these are going to be Save the World voice lines. So more than likely, she is going to have a hopefully... We're going to see her in a her own kind of narrative storyline. Uh, also, we assume that Lars is going to be the last hero from home base is going to come along unless we still have one more after this. And this one's just going to be right. I don't know. There's a lot of questions, including why Ray is going to have a body and how are we going to see Ray if that happens in Save the World? There's a lot, a lot of questions there with Ray of what's going to happen with her. Um, but personally, like I said, I'm going to wait until we actually see it before I kind of delve into it and see what's going to happen there. Uh, don't forget, because this is the last week, you do have this final week to go ahead and get uh, the major, uh, get the extra Val, uh, wrap up everything else. If you're still doing ventures too, wrap up ventures last week to get all of this stuff done in Save the World before the new ventures and that's the big thing guys that's the big thing this this week and what's coming soon is pretty much just highland warrior and like i said wrapping everything up you got to wrap all the storylines you got to wrap up everything you want to do to make sure that you progress in the game now having said that having said all that i do have to say that i feel like i feel like there are some major changes coming in the way uh, I don't think that Save the World is going to completely be passed over and ignored. I don't think that's going to happen. I, but I do feel that they may make a definite choice to either minimize the already low amount of attention they give to Save the World or maybe even cut down and focus on some things within Save the World, which also leads me to my whole very soon video about the jail builds, why they would focus on certain things, hyper focus on certain things that apparently have nothing to do with what's actually needs to be worked on the game. Uh, and I think it may be because of future changes. Remember, the changes that are made now in Save the World don't affect Battle Royale because they changed it to Save the World not being the core game. Now, Fortnite Battle Royale is a core game. Save the World is a plugin that plugs into that. So it kind of makes me question some things they changed. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Again, like I said, I don't have the game right now. I can't play. I can't play anything right now. I'm still trying to figure out what happened with the Windows update. It did mess up a lot of things in my systems. But... I'm going to figure it out. We're going to keep going. Like I said, I'm not going to talk right now too much about it. Uh, but definitely, if you haven't checked out Outriders yet, I have a video for it. There's a link down below in the description for it. Uh, there's a few giveaways going on the channel right now. And more that are going to happen, especially next Wednesday. Mini Pigmas, if you come to the streams, highly recommended you come to the streams because it is going to be awesome. As always, guys, I am DUJ2. If you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel. Oh, yeah. Warrior Wildcat. 
Um, she's okay. If you want to do a, a grenade build, you should get her. <laughs> As always, <laughs> I am DUJ2. If you guys enjoy what I do on my channel, if you enjoy this video, please, 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 please do me a huge favor and have yourself a fantastic day. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, the next one we have gameplay. Or the game behind us. See ya.